Robert Prescott was a member of the American volunteer group that flew for China during World War II. The AVG were more commonly known as the Flying Tigers. Prescott recognized how lucrative the airline industry would be once the World War II planes would be retired. His brother convinced him to buy three Bud Conestoga airplanes himself and start his own airline. To get the airline going, Prescott convinced Samuel B. Mosher, a Los Angeles oil pioneer and investor mogul, to match whatever capital Prescott could acquire on his own. So in 1945, he called on his fellow former AVG pilots to invest $10,000 into the airline and agree to work for the airline. Prescott indeed found 10 pilots willing to help a friend. Those men included Duke Heedman, Lick Laughlin, Cliff Grow, Bus Lone, Bill Bartling, Tommy Haywood, Joe Rosbert, Dick Rossi, and Robert Catfish Rain. These men became the founding members of the very first all-cargo airline, officially called the National Skyways Freight Corporation. However, they were known in the community as those Flying Tiger pilots. Later, the name would officially be changed to the Flying Tiger Airline. About a month later, they were in business. The first charter was a load of flowers to Detroit, then a load of grapes to Atlanta, and a furniture load from New York to California. While shipment demands were sometimes scarce, the Tigers generated additional revenue by offering passenger non-scheduled flights for a better price than the traditional airlines. By 1946, many changes to the company were already taking place. The fleet of C-47s were combined with DC-3s as they became available after the war. Soon they outgrew their facilities in Long Beach and moved to Mines Field in Bakersfield. In the fall of 47, the company won a contract with the military and had to relocate to a bigger facility. When the employees arrived for work one day, they were greeted by a sign that read, Your company has moved to Lockheed Air Terminal, Burbank. Park your cars and board the DC-4. From the beginning, the company fought the Civil Aeronautics Board to fly cargo on scheduled flights. And in April of 1949, after years of negotiating, they were finally granted Air Freight Route 100. This was the first transcontinental air freight certificate ever awarded. Essentially, this meant the Tigers were the first to provide a scheduled cargo service in the U.S. Throughout the history of the airline, the Tigers carried some interesting cargo. For example, they were the exclusive airline for racehorses. They transported Elsie the cow during her transnational tour, and they even transported Shamu the whale. Once becoming a scheduled airline, the Tigers became involved with bigger projects. For example, they flew supplies for the distant early warning system, they flew soldiers and cargo for the Korean and Vietnam Wars, and they even expanded to the water, becoming the first coordinated sea and air transportation center. In 1988, Tiger International was sold to Federal Express. The former employees still gather to this day for reunions, and the Flying Tiger spirit lives on.